Hi everybody, it's Miss Diane from Ag in the Classroom, coming to you from my kitchen. Boy, do I miss you guys. This In April and May, a lot of you were going to learn about how seeds grow in your classrooms. But since I can't be there, I thought you could try to grow some seeds yourself at your own house and do what we were going to do in class. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a sprout house. All you need is a few simple things that you're going to have around, you probably have already have around your house. First of all, let's start with just a sheet of paper. All you need to do is fold it in half. Make a crease, take a scissor, and cut it in half. We're gonna keep both halves of this piece of paper, but we're gonna only use one for right now. Then take the half that you have, Start at the corner, just cut straight up. And from that point, cut to the other corner and you've made yourself the roof of a house. You can take this house and decorate it. I might write on mine, Miss Diane's Sprout House. You can put your name on, you can make one for your mom. You can make one for Easter. You can also use things around your house to decorate it. Crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you have at home. You might want to draw a picture of what you're going to plant. Maybe you want to put some flowers or a pretty um, spring, spring picture on yours. Whatever makes it fun for you to decorate. All right, let's get to planting. All you need is a sandwich bag. You probably have some of these around your house when you took lunches to school. You need some cotton balls you may already have in your bathroom, and then you need some seeds. Now, today I'm gonna plant some vegetables, but maybe you your family doesn't have a garden. Maybe they just grow some flowers. Maybe you've got some flower seeds sitting around from last year, some, uh, some flowers, zinnias or morning glories, or any other kind of flower seeds. Now these don't have to be seeds that you bought this year because seeds last for a long time. The seeds I'm using weren't bought this year. I don't even know how old they are, but generally they will germinate for many years if they are kept dry. So today I'm gonna to show you the seeds that I'm gonna plant. I'm going to plant green beans. They're a very sturdy kind of seed. This one's gonna be hard to guess. This is actually sweet corn seed. Doesn't look like sweet corn to me, but uh, you might wonder what that reddish pink covering is on there. Sweet corn often comes with a protective coating so that when the seed gets planted into the ground, insects won't eat it before it starts to germinate. And these are cucumber seeds. You probably see these if you've cut open a cucumber at your house. That's where the seeds live in a cucumber. All right, so let's get to planting. Let's take our plastic bag. And the first thing I wanna do is write on my bag with a marker so I know what I planted. So I'm gonna write beans, cucumber, or corn, <laughs> sorry, and cucumbers. You're not gonna move this bag around very much, so You'll, the seeds will stay right where you put them. Now take your cotton balls. Now, mine are kind of small, so I would use probably two cotton balls. If you got the jumbo size in your bathroom, you probably just need one. Dip it in some water and squeeze out the excess. You wanna keep it pretty moist. Then take two or three seeds of each one, put it on your cotton ball like this, and roll it up like a taco or maybe a hot dog bun. Open up your bag and drop it in the part that says beans. You wanna make sure that those, the seeds are completely covered uh, with the wet cotton ball. It's the water that's our first step in germination of these seeds. Let's do the same thing for the sweet corn. We'll put two or three in on my wet cotton ball, wrap it up like a taco and drop it on the spot that says corn. And finally, I'll do the same thing with my cucumbers, moisten it, bring out the excess, and put the seeds on the cotton ball and wrap it up. Now, 
all you need to do is zip that, that bag shut. We want to keep the moisture inside. We don't want these seeds to dry out because what's going to happen first is the water is going to moisten the seed coat of that uh, seed, and that's the first step to germination. Now let's take our Sprout House roof and staple it onto my bag. Now I can't let this just lying around on the counter or not much is going to happen. So I want to choose a nice warm window to hang my, uh, to hang my Sprout House. Follow me on over to the window. Over here, I'm just going to take some tape, of course, with your parents' permission, and tape it on a window. Now, I chose a west window where the sun shines in during the day. Uh, now that the days are getting longer, this window gets a lot of warm sunshine. If you don't have one of those, you can certainly use an east window also. It may just take a little longer to germinate. All right, let's head back on over and find out what's gonna happen with that other half of our piece of paper. Remember, we had a piece of paper that we kept when we cut our, our paper apart. And on it, I wrote my sprout journal. I wanna keep track of what happens every day with my seeds. So I have the date, today is April 6th or 4 6th, and write down what you see or what you did that day. Today, I just wrote that I planted the seeds. Now I'm gonna keep checking them every single day. Tomorrow is the seventh. I'll take a peek at them. I would guess in about three to five days, you're going to start to see some changes happening inside that bag. The first thing that's going to show up are the roots of the plant. The roots are always the first things that grow out of a seed. And if we're wait patiently, a few days after that, maybe about the 10th day, you're going to see the sprout come out. And if we're very patient, in a couple weeks, we might even see some leaves starting to form on these plants. So uh, I don't wanna let all the information out of the bag in the first day. So check back with me and we're gonna see what, what happens, what grows inside of our bag. It was great to see you guys. Miss you, see you next time, bye.